guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and I'm a content creator providing content creator tips and tricks for new content creators, UGC creators, and I also provide a little bit of productivity tips in the mix as well. Today I'll be talking about a topic that is definitely something that is crucial and something that is important in the world of content creation, which is planning and batching out your content. I know I've mentioned this already briefly on this channel, but today I want to go a little bit more in depth on how exactly what you need to do when it comes to planning and batching your content as a new creator. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content creator tips and tricks just like this one. And also don't forget to turn on your push notifications so you know exactly when I'm posting. So the first thing we need to talk about is why content planning and batching your content is important in the first place. We all should know by now that planning your content is essential, is an essential practice to, you know, make sure you're ahead of what it is you're trying to do and that you don't you know have to scramble last minute to get your content out where you know you could have done better but you were literally in a rush to get it out so content planning is literally planning out your long form your short form how you want to film how you want to edit like literally planning is everything content creation and you know you're just putting it somewhere storing it somewhere where you can actually go back to it when need be and you know figure out what you need to do next. It's definitely something that will keep you organized and in the long run if you know you stick with it and you know it, you actually find that it's helping keeping you organized it'll help you maintain consistency across your social platforms as well. Okay so next we need to you know right after content planning you need to go ahead and you need to identify your goals as a content creator and you also need to identify your audience. Who are you actually trying to reach? And I actually have a video up on this channel already on how to reach your target audience. I will leave it up here and also down in the description if you want to check that out. I highly recommend it. But you need to understand what your goals are and you need to understand who your audience is to, you know, make targeted content for your audience. But you definitely need to have, you know, a clear thought process on what it is you want to achieve as a content creator. I would definitely start with, you know, your short term goals as a creator, but definitely Put aside your long-term goals, figure out what it is you want long-term out of content creation, but definitely don't have that as your main goals because it's going to feel like it's taking you a while to get there. So I would definitely recommend starting out with some short-term goals that are actually more realistic and more achievable to you personally. And you can go from there and, you know, keep track of what it is you're doing. And if you're hitting those goals, those little milestones, you can be, you know, you know ex excited to move on to the next one and also if you're understanding who your audience is when you sit down in front of the camera you are speaking directly to those people so make sure that you know who your audience is and actually have clear goals written somewhere where you can see them so you can keep track of them and you know check them off when you make those milestones so yeah i would definitely recommend taking some time to you know set clear objectives on what it is you want to do whether that be you know posting more consistently you know driving in traffic getting engagement all of that stuff comes into you know figuring out your plan and how you want to figure out what goals you want to achieve as a content creator another thing that i would suggest that i've also mentioned on this channel before is creating a content calendar i currently use notion but if you just want to use a regular like planner you can do so but i feel like it's definitely easy to have you know some type of planner um, that you can look at every day to figure out what it is that you need to do and this is also based off of the first step content planning the second step your goals and then now you're just putting all of that into what it is you want to do content wise so this should honestly outline what posts that you want to do each day when your filming days are when your editing days are um, when you're posting your posting schedule if you're posting to all you know like Instagram TikTok Twitter or if you're posting to YouTube like it should have everything up there you should be able to look at your your calendar and see what's going where when something needs to be done when something is checked off like you need to see everything when it comes to looking at your content calendar because I mean honestly it's the only thing that's keeping me sane and keeping me you know knowing exactly you know how to go about what I want to do I actually might do a notion, another Notion tour because I've upgraded it since and I think that is 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 easy to use a Notion and, you know, put some basic stuff together so that you can get it out of your head and onto something that you can look at when you want to. But that all being said, if you do keep a calendar, a planner, something where you can have out 
you know, certain days or designated days you want to do things. It'll definitely help, you know, with your consistency as a creator. It'll help, you know, the stress of trying to figure out day by day what it is you need to do. It'll also ensure if you have, like, dedicated editing days, dedicated filming days, dedicated posting days. It'll also ensure that you have, you know, a steady flow of content that is able to get put out on all the different social media platforms that you use because you actually plan it in advance and you know you have you know exactly what you're trying to do and when you want to do it the next thing i want to talk about is brainstorming ideas and this is what made me think about doing another notion tour because i literally have a content ideas page in my notion for all the you know different things that i'm trying to do now but yeah i think it's definitely a good idea even if it's in your notes app on your phone to whenever you get an idea or whenever you see something and uh, you know like I can do this too like let me put this down definitely take note of whatever ideas come to you whatever ideas you see like definitely take note of those because that can get you know pulled into your planning time and when you plan you say okay I got this idea and I got it in my notes app or I got it in my notion and I can just literally pull from these ideas whenever I feel kind of stuck or don't know what I want to do content wise and also when you do do that make sure that it's something that is still tailored to your audience and something that, that they definitely can benefit from watching your content all right and the last thing I want to talk about today is actually batching your content um I know like I mentioned before I'm not you know gonna get tired I'm not ashamed to say or whatever I work a full-time job and lately there's been like a certain shift in how I do things and I'm trying to get better more at planning and you know scheduling stuff and all that because I have content it's just you know I have to you know switch around my editing days because sometimes I open sometimes I close so I know that's the case for most of you watching as well so definitely just you know find a day that works for you where you can sit down you can record two three youtube videos if you want you can record a few videos for shorts what i've been doing recently um and it's kind of helping except i need to make more shorts as well is to edit like film my youtube videos and then i edit pieces from those youtube videos where i can make like three to five clips from one youtube video that can be dispersed as short form content on instagram tiktok and also youtube shorts so keep that in mind when it comes to batching because if you literally do not have the time to sit there for a day and record all day to have all this content out film you a couple youtube videos that you plan to post anyway and after they're edited for youtube and you know schedule on youtube where you don't actually mess up that youtube video edit that down into some shorts you can ideally get about three to five clips of you know part portions of your video where you can turn into shorts or instagram reels or tiktoks if you do have a day where you can just sit down and batch record all like okay we've planned our content okay we we kept our audience in mind we know our goals as a content creator we know what we want to achieve okay we have taken all our content ideas that we've either seen or they just popped up in our head that we can do as a content creator we have all of that and we have now we have all of that listed on our content calendar we know exactly what days we want to do what so if you find a day where you can sit down and record all of this week's videos at one time or all the next couple weeks videos that you want to do all in one time do that because now on those days when you could have been recording that content that you've already batched you can be editing and you know get those posts out still whenever you want and if you're able to get them all edited on another day you know you can literally just schedule and draft all your posts that need to go out and that's you batching your content by doing so you can definitely save a little bit of time save yourself the headache from having to scramble and post everything when the day is needed to be posted like make sure and if you can't if you can't I know batching content can be a little bit stressful but if you can't sit down and you know record a lot at one time um, or you can you just can't have it edited and you know schedule and draft it ahead of time try to at least do it for the day before if you already have the footage make sure you can maybe edit the day before you want to post so you can still have something that you're working on so that it can get posted when you want it to get posted and i think i i think that's all i have for today's video i know there's you know probably a little bit more i could say and i definitely will if it comes to it and i can maybe do a part two but this is all i have for today's video 
um, by the end of this, you should know how you will want to plan your content. You should be able to set clear goals for yourself, short-term and long-term goals as a content creator. You should also be able to know who your target audience is. Again, I have a video that explains on, you know, ways to go about how to find your target audience. Also, you should be finding ideas, brainstorming ideas, and keeping track of those because when it, con when it comes time to film your content or plan your content, you can pull from that bag of ideas and, you know, make your content from that as well. And also, if you can, if you have a means to, try to batch content create because if you can sit down for a day, record like three YouTube videos for, or th three or four YouTube videos for the month, and you know you can edit them down to short film content pieces or if you want to just sit in and do a whole lot of shorts reels all that good stuff you can do so and you can edit schedule draft them wherever you want and your life will be a little bit more smoother but that is all just to put this here i'm not telling you you know what to do but if you want to make your life a little bit easier as a content creator and feel a little bit more productive these are some ways that you can definitely go about doing so but that's all I have here for today's video. If you got all the way to the end and found it helpful, please don't forget to give me a like on this video. Comment down below what you'll start implementing after you watch this video. And also, again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content creator tips and tricks just like this one. Don't forget to hit your bell either because you'll know exactly what I'm posting, which is Fridays, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time currently. That all being said, guys, thanks again for watching the video, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.